Or like I remember saying is, Mum, just bring him back. I don't care how he comes back, just bring him back. Okay. Is he breathing? Is he breathing? How's he going? Got any pain in your chest? No, but I've got an awful bad leg. Emergency services. Every 20 seconds, somebody in Australia dials triple zero. Real calls, real here. When cardiac arrest occurs, brain death and fatalities can result within four to six minutes. In the European Union, due to an average emergency response time of 10 minutes, only 8% of cardiac arrest patients survive. When there's emergencies like structure failures, building fires, mine accidents, natural disasters, or other emergencies, first responders may not be able to access the areas where victims are possibly trapped or incapacitated. How about a drone that flies in to save a heart attack victim? And how about this drone, which could actually save you from drowning? Well, it's time to sit back and check out advanced technologies such as satellite navigation, position broadcast, and auto takeoff and landing. It can also detect and avoid obstacles, including aircraft. At night, it carries thermal imaging cameras to detect heat signatures of victims on the ground. Medical emergency, unmanned aerial vehicle to your location. It will drop an epinephrine injector for the patient. Please go outside to your drop-off location. a drone that will fly autonomously to deliver a defibrillator and other medical supplies inside of a 12 kilometer zone within one minute. This life-saving drone also carries a live stream camera and voice system for verbal instructions to those on the scenes. Future applications could include systems for respiratory, diabetes, and a host of other traumas. Navigate's dual rotors enable this drone to hover and pitch at zero speed for delicate maneuvering in confined spaces. It can also self-navigate by creating a map of the search area without GPS input. Navigate can avoid obstacles, seek out and locate victims, and relay their location back to rescue workers. By using its internal sensors, the Navigate can even monitor and report a victim's vital signs while workers attempt to reach the area. It's a drone that could save multiple lives at once. Known as PARS Rescue Robot, this lifeguard drone can carry and drop up to 13 flotation devices to potential drowning victims. Equipped with both regular and infrared cameras, this amazing drone can spot victims day or night. Bright LEDs make PARS more visible to the controller and victims alike. In August of 2013, in the Caspian Sea, PARS was tested in a race against a human lifeguard. PARS reached its target in about 22 seconds as opposed to the lifeguard it took 90 seconds to arrive, proving its immense advantage over human lifeguards. 